St. Paul English School. We nurture your future from KG to PG. Hi students, welcome to St. Paul English School. Myself is Shreta Mishra. Today we are going to learn about perimeter and area of rectangle. Now let's see what is a rectangle. See, this is a figure of rectangle where you can see in rectangle A, B, C, D, opposite sides are equal to each other. You can see AB is equal to DC and AB is equal to BC. And one more thing, all the vertices of rectangles are equal to 90 degrees. You can see angle A, angle B, angle C and angle D are equal to 90 degrees. Okay, now let's learn about the perimeter of rectangle. What is a perimeter? Look at this object. This is the shape of rectangle. So, outer surface of the rectangle is a perimeter. Now, look at here. Perimeter of the rectangle equals to 2 into length plus 2 into width. For example, Look at this figure. Length of the rectangle is 6 cm and width of the rectangle is 3 cm. So now we are going to put the value in this formula. 2 into length. What is the length of this rectangle? Yes, 6 cm. Very good. 6 cm. Plus 2 into. What is the width of the rectangle? Yes, 3 cm. Very good. Now, can you tell me 2 into 6 cm it is equal to how much? Yes, 12 cm. Plus, 2 into 3 cm is equal to? Yes, 6 cm. Now, we add the value. 12 cm plus 6 cm equals to 18 cm. This is the perimeter of rectangle. Now we can see the another way of find out the perimeter of rectangle. See. In last formula we can see 2 into length plus 2 into width. Instead of we can write 2 into the vertex length plus width. Here we can say 2 is a common for both. Now 2 into length. What is length? 6 cm. So here we can write 6 cm. Plus, what is the width? Yes, 3 cm. Now at the time of solving the problem, we always calculate the internal value. Okay? That means inner value of length. So 6 cm plus 3 cm equals to 2 into 9 cm. Now no symbol is there, that means symbol of multiplication. So 2 9s are, can you tell me 2 9s are? Yes, 18 cm. So you can see in both, the, by, by using both the formulas we can find out the perimeter of z. Okay, now let's see area of rectangle. See, this is the figure of rectangle. This is the object of a rectangle. Now, internal space of a figure is known as the area of rectangle. Okay, now how we will calculate the area of rectangle? Let's see in a different way. In the same example, where we can take length, 6 cm and width 3 cm. So now what we have to do? We have to fold this paper in a brick way. That means 3 times. 1, 2. This paper is divided into 3 parts. Now we have to divide length. We have to divide length in a 6 parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this paper is folded in a 6 parts. 
Now I'm going to open this paper. We can calculate this boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So area of rectangle is 18 centimeters. Okay, now let's see with the formula. Area of rectangle equals to length into width. This is the formula for area of rectangle. Now we have to put the value. What is length of rectangle? 6 centimeters. So we can write 6 centimeters into what is the breadth of rectangle? 3 cm. So we can write 3 cm. Now we have to multiply 6 cm into 3 cm. That means 6 3 is Yes. 80 cm. Now one more important thing. At the time of writing the value of area, areas, we have to write down 18 cm symbol of square. This is the SI unit for area. So we can say our answer is 18 square centimeter. So our final answer is 18 square centimeter. I hope you understand the concept of perimeter and area of rectangle. Thank you.